I'm Steph Beckett here at Infocom 2024 in the beautiful Las Vegas. I am here in the AVI SPL booth. It is a lovely day, very busy in here, and I'm joined by Kelly Bousman. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, it's just amazing to see the crowds of people coming into Infocom, to see all the smiling faces and the interest. It's just it's amazing. Well, the interest is very clear. I will say there is a reason you guys won our 2024 Favorite Integrator Reader's Choice Award. So I'm sure a lot of our readers are here coming to see why you guys are the favorite integrators. So that's exciting. Thank you. We couldn't be more proud. We're absolutely thrilled. And as you saw, we're showcasing it right yes. at the entry to our booth. We're so very pleased. Yes. Thank you. Well, I also wanted to talk, there is a absolutely gorgeous display behind us due to a collaboration you guys did with Sharp. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah, so we have been a long-standing partner with Sharp. And more than anything in our booth, this Sharp display is our showpiece. Um, Sharp graciously volunteered to install, and they did it in record time, I'm telling you, this, this wall went up in a matter of hours yesterday. It is well over 200 inches. It's direct view LED. It's 4K. And as you can see, the image is absolutely stunning. And so when Sharp offered to partner with us, we graciously accepted. And then we started thinking, what will this wall do? What will it say? What will this mean as part of our booth? And for us this year, our theme has been how to think beyond, right? And I think we were talking about like, people come to Infocom to learn about the new technology that will be coming to market. What will the new displays do? How will audio be distributed? But what we're trying to do is to think beyond what the technology itself does to how our customers and our users want to apply it in new ways, right? It isn't about how it's built, it's about how it's used. And what's really cool is that AVI, SPL, and Sharp collaborated here to transform something that might just be considered a video wall to being our welcome, our entry point, the way we describe our Think Beyond theme. We're using it as a messaging platform and not just as like a beacon, yeah. you know? Yeah, so something that I have seen a lot at this show in particular is how experience is very, very important. So I feel like experience kind of goes with those new applications that are beyond what we've seen mostly at Infocom. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. I mean. Technology is only successfully applied when it creates the experience you hoped it would generate. Yeah. And for us, the experience we want, people who are visiting our booths today, we want them to understand how we're reimagining the way technology can be applied to change the way we're working together, to change the way we're teaching, to change the way that we're communicating at a new scale that still feels very intimate, right? And so ultimately, what we're all here at Infocom to learn is how are we going to create new experiences and how will technology fuel them? And Sharp has always been a partner to us who has even brought us new ideas. Even in this case, they've brought us a video wall, a direct view LED video wall, that is actually a bundle. Yeah. Like it's already pre-configured, it can ship quickly, 20 different variations are in stock. It can be ready whenever we need it to deploy for the customer. And as I mentioned, it goes up in hours. But that readiness is because we're seeing so many more customers interested in creating unique experiences that like, for example, here, it's a video wall that is intended to greet our visitors at Infocom to get them to think beyond what they know about AVI SPL, but it could just as well be an entryway in an office lobby. Yeah. And it could be used to have that company greet its visitors with personal messaging, or while people are waiting, 
for to be escorted to their meeting, to be thinking about ways they could be applying that technology, showing them different ways that the company could use the technology to greet its own visitors. Yeah. How did the idea of Think Beyond like come into fruition when you guys were choosing content to show? Ah, so we like to have a theme every year. And last year's theme was, how are we going to shape the future? And this year's theme was, if we're going to think beyond, if we, in order to keep shaping that future, we have to constantly be thinking beyond where we are now. Yeah. So here, we wanted people, that's kind of an aspirational message about realizing potential, right? And so there's a reason why everything moves up on the wall. You're wanting to look up, look up to beyond the horizon. We also wanted people to think of it as, you know, ways to even explore through social media, right? Everything is working in columns and it's scrolling up as you might scroll up through stories on your phone. Yeah. So we wanted to kind of give bits of information that were, you know, maybe just little snippets of what we do, but shown in ways that could draw the eye and, and move you to, to, to think beyond literally as you're looking through the scrolling content. Well, that's very cool. Thank you so much for telling me more about this. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can see why people are flocking to your booth. C7031, by the way, if you were at Infocom and want to come check it out. And Sharp is actually in the West Hall. Um, I can't exactly remember the booth number, but I will include it in the description. But Kelly, thank you again so much for chatting with me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And don't forget, on our side, you can go to ravepubs.com forward slash infocom to see all of our coverage of the show. We'll see you next time. I'm Steph Beckett. Bye.